As tough as it is to travel these days, it can feel nice to get to your hotel room. You can relax, watch TV, pour yourself a drink. Or maybe not. In hotel after hotel after hotel, I-Team hidden cameras expose a dirty little secret. So it could be six years that this cup has never touched really hot water. Or soap. Or soap. Or been sanitized in any way. Correct. Randy Searles is talking about how the guest glasses and coffee cups were cleaned at the six-year-old Embassy Suites Hotel in Alpharetta, a hotel where he used to work as a manager before he was fired for an unrelated issue. Basically what they're doing there is using a uh, glass can cleaner to spray into their uh, glasses, wipe them out, and put them, and put them back. We booked a room at the Embassy Suites to see for ourselves. Our hidden camera captures the housekeeper putting the glasses into the dirty sink. Then she sprays a blue liquid on them. Take a look, a liquid that's labeled do not drink. Then she rinses them off and dries them. They never leave the room. Well, this is not an acceptable practice. We wondered if the Embassy Suites was the only hotel not washing their guest room glasses the right way. So we checked in for two nights at this downtown Holiday Inn. Thank you. The room located the floor. And at the Sheridan Galleria Suites in Cobb County. We were clear that one person would stay one night, but another person would take the room the second night. Once inside, we filled our drinking glasses with soda, and we marked them with lipstick. So as housekeeping came in, we left with hidden cameras rolling. You have quite that, sir? At the Holiday Inn downtown, it happened again. Watch the housekeeper clean our dirty glasses. She turns on the water, simply rinses them out, and sets them back out to be used again. Personally, if I were a person who had just stayed at this place, I would be questioning whether or not my health was being put at risk while I was there. And Roy Costa knows about health risks. That's outrageous. He's a public health expert who consults for companies and government agencies on disease control. He watched our video. What can I potentially get in well, reality can, from that cup. Okay, well, well you can get any of the pathogens that were on that person's hand when they touched the cup, which could be things like E. coli and salmonella, your mononucleosis, you have your herpes. But that's not all. He says you can catch a staph infection. What else is on the, the, the flesh-eating bacteria. Yeah. You know, it, the hepatitis. Now at the Sheridan Galleria Suites, what we capture here is tough to swallow. Our housekeeper sprays some sort of liquid on our glasses, glasses that are sitting in our dirty sink. Then she rinses them out. This whole time she's wearing a glove. This is what we know about that glove. Just before washing our glasses, this housekeeper walked into the bathroom. Some water swishes. Now listen. She flushes. Then she walks out wearing that glove and washes our drinking glasses. But she's not done yet. She grabs our dirty washcloth, sniffs it, then dries our glasses. We tried to talk to Sheridan management about what we captured, but they would not sit down with us because, quote, it's too controversial an issue. So we asked a Cobb County health inspector what he thought. These procedures do not meet you know, basic health practices. Clear code violations. Mm -hmm. Obvious. Holiday Inn management assures us their guest room glasses go through a dishwasher, but has since taken the glasses out of the room, replacing them with single-use plastic cups. Embassy Suites management said their room glasses also go through a dishwasher, but when we told them about what we found on hidden camera, we got no comment.